guys, this is J.R.R. Tolkien, and um, I'm doing a little interview today to give you guys some ba basic background information, you know. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions asked me over the years, and, uh, you know, I thought I'd answer them. Um, what is your full name? My full name is John Ronald Rule Tolkien, J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, could you give us some basic background information about yourself? Well, I'm British. Um, I was born in Bloemfontein on uh, September 2nd, 1892, and I started having an interest in writing around the time I was 20. I was also serving um, the British in World War II at the time. Um, what was your purpose for writing The Lord of the Rings? The purpose of The Lord of the Rings was to complete the story that began in The Hobbit. You can't leave an epic story like that unfinished. Um, Bilbo acquired the ring in his own journey. Now it's time for Frodo to destroy it in a story of his own making. How did you come up with the setting of Middle Earth and its intricacies? Um, Middle Earth was a place that came to be through numerous inspirations. Um, some areas like Mordor were inspired by the chaotic natural beauty of, of um, nature and the world around us. Um, while others were inspired by more man-made um, extravagant castles like Gondor. Uh, what's next? What about characters in the story? Um, well, many characters were already established in The Hobbit. Uh, Frodo and Gandalf, for example, were key players in the story, um, while others in Lord of the Rings, like, um, Aragorn, Legolas, Gimli, they were all taken from either mythical or non-fictional creatures. Uh, Gimli is a dwarf, while Legolas is an, el is an elf, while Aragorn's a human. Um, let's see. You continuously mentioned The Hobbit. Can you tell us a little bit about the story? Uh, well, The Hobbit is, set in, is also set in Middle-earth. It is a story of how the ring came to be in the hands of the most unlikely creature, a hobbit. Bilbo Baggins, it, the uncle and longtime um, guardian of Frodo Baggins, goes on an amazing journey through Middle-earth and obtains his precious ring... Um, you know, I tell you more, but I don't want to ruin the story already. Do you have any other stories written that are set in Middle Earth? Um, yeah, the Sumerian is also set in Middle Earth. Uh, however, it doesn't really interfere with the um with the storyline of the Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings. Uh, so would you consider the story of Middle Earth complete? No, absolutely not. Just because I have not written it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The purpose of fantasy writing is to give the reader a canvas to do whatever they want with. You finish the story. It's all up to you, the reader, to do that. Are you satisfied with the movies that your novels have been turned into? Yes, very much so. I believe the true spirit of the series, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, um, part one's already out, part two's coming out soon, um, definitely have been captured by the movies, the directors, the actors, everything that's been done for them. If you had to describe The Lord of the Rings in three words, how would you do it? I would call it the story an unfinished journey. It's up to you to finish it. I've left what I can. Um, I've passed away. I'm a ghost right now. Uh, but I've left what I can. It's all up to the reader. Um, fan base, directors, new writers, you guys gotta finish the story. It's all up to you. Uh, well, thanks for, um, thanks for listening today. Uh, you know, uh, maybe if I decide to be a ghost again, I'll come out with another one of these. If not, then, uh, hang tight, watch the movies, read the books, they're awesome.